Well, good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. We are a couple days into the new year. Happy 2024. Make sure you get over to my new YouTube channel, <coughs> excuse me, Green's House. Link will be in the bio. Make sure you check that out. Like, subscribe, and share. That's where I sit down with amazing people that have an interesting story to tell. So, speaking of New Year's, on New Year's Eve, uh, at the, um, in Times Square in New York, for the midnight ball drop. <laughs> And it's so funny that it's called a ball drop when you hear what this story's about. So you may or may not have seen it. Don't worry if you haven't and you want to, I'll put a link to it in the description box. But if not, I, I've taken that bullet for you. So CNN, I talked about this yesterday on my live where they had um, Andy Cohen and Anderson Cooper up, Cooper up there taking shots, getting drunk. Uh, live on TV because what can go wrong with a live camera and drunk people? So at midnight, they count down, you know, five, four, three, two, one, the ball drop, happy new year. Now, what do they usually cut to? They usually cut to couples in the crowd who are hugging each other, who are kissing each other. Sometimes you'll see a marriage proposal in there at midnight. It's very cool. You want to start, and I think, isn't it a tradition or something where you kiss somebody at midnight and it's supposed to, I don't know, give you good luck throughout the year or some shit. But what they did was, and it was on purpose, it's not by accident. You didn't just randomly throw the throw to the crowd with the camera and, oh shit. No, the, the shit was on purpose. All of that stuff is intentional. None of that is by accident. So what do they show? They cut to the crowd and show two gay men kissing. Now that shit is disgusting. Two men kissing is fucking gross. And I've said this before and I'll say it again because I don't hear it said that much. But you always hear one, it's one-sided. Oh, you don't like to see gay people kiss and that's messed up, blah, blah, blah. You don't like to see this. They don't like to see heterosexuals kiss either. They don't like to see heterosexual sex either. They think it's gross. They think it's just as gross as we think their shit is gross. But it wasn't just two men kissing. That shit sends a message. They know what the fuck they're doing. They're crazy, but they're not stupid. That's showing the world and showing the country that this is normal. This is America now. Everybody knows, everybody's, half of everyone's friends are gay. Every other person is gay. When in reality, only, uh, what, about 5% of the population is gay? And no matter how many times you put these images in front of us, no matter how many times you repeat that rhetoric, people are not going to accept this as normal. It's not normal. Gay couples are not the norm. If they were, we would die off as a species. And to say that it's not normal is not an insult. It's not normal for people to have three arms. It's not an insult to anybody out, anybody out there with three arms, but the shit ain't normal. And to put those images out there, that's what they are trying to say. Now, full disclosure, if those were two lesbians, would I feel the same way? Well, it depends on what they look like. If it's two buzz cut, butch, Michael J. Fox looking lesbians? Hell no, I don't want to see that shit. But if it's two, you know, normal looking women who are lesbians, I'm listening. Of course, I'm a straight man. Four titties are better than two. But would that be sending the same message if they showed two women kissing? No, that's why they didn't do it. It's much more impactful for them to show men kissing. Why? Because men's are the guardian men, men's, men are the guardians of society. We are the guard dogs. We are the roving patrol. We keep everybody safe. You don't even have to be married to, dating, or related to a man for him to keep you safe, ladies. Men have a sense of obligation when they are out in public and they are around men, or I'm sorry, women and children in dangerous situations. 
a complete stranger, if you're a female and you're in trouble, a complete stranger male that you don't even know will help you. I got a, I got a, uh, I got some proof. I got a story. I'm trying to tell you a story. So a couple weeks ago, I'm at the gas station. I'm about to leave, and I see a lady pulling into the gas station as she runs out of gas. So she gets out, opens her door, and starts pushing her car, her, I think it was a minivan, starts pushing her van. So of course, and whether it was a man or a woman, I think people would do the same, but they would be much quicker to help a woman. So I get out to help her. Next thing I know, two other guys hop out of their car to come and help push this lady's van into a parking spot. And there was much more sense of, are you okay? Do you need any help? You're not going to get that when you're a man. It's the bottom line. We'll help you push your, your, your car to its destination, but it's not going to have the same care and concern involved. That's just the way it is. Oh, what was I watching the other day? Oh, yeah. I was watching football. And, you know, the players, sometimes they hit it, or oftentimes they hit each other out of bounds. And sometimes the people on the side, the cameraman and stuff like that, they get hit. And this always stands out to me. I'll see it. They'll go out of bounds, fall, roll or whatever. Fucking blow this cameraman up. He's not, he, he, sometimes they're not even facing the game. Their legs get rolled up. They get knocked into the wall and shit. What do the players do? They hop up and go back on the field. And I think, I thought, Man, are there people who are on the sidelines to help these people up? Is that why the players just hop up and fucking forget about them? All the time you see that. No, Pay attention to that shit. A play will go out of bounds. Somebody on the sideline, like some security staff or something, it happens to security because they're always facing the crowd. They'll get completely blown up by a player, and the player will hop up, won't check and say, are you all right? You okay? Nothing. It's almost like they're not supposed to. It's almost like they've been told, if that happens, just get up and go back to the game. Honestly. So what I saw this past weekend, that happened, but the person was a female. So what did the player do? He got up, helped her up. Are you okay? And then he ran back to the field. They don't do that for men. That's how it is. So it furthers their plan much more. It's far more impactful visually to see two men kissing. That shows a weakening of the society. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Those images show a weakening of our society. It shows that we're not capable of defending ourselves. We're certainly not capable defending our, of defending ourselves against a major opponent, against a, a major foe, like a China. That tells everybody that this is what we're about. Our men are weak. They are kissing and fucking each other. Again, do what the hell you want in the privacy of your own home. But showing those images on TV to the world, that means something. That's part of their agenda. They're pushing something. That wasn't just an innocent kiss. It's just love. Shut the fuck up. You think there were more straight couples out there or gay couples? So not only is there an agenda, not only are they trying to push something or continue to push something or advance some kind of agenda, but that shit is gross. Two men kissing is fucking nasty. That's what they did. This is, this is what's important. And not only is it important to the media, it's important to politicians. It's important to our government because our government and media are one and the same. The watchdog, the media, has become the lapdog. They were once, they were like private investigators. They were supposed to be keeping an eye on the government, you know, taking those pictures. You know, the government's walking out. You get those freeze frames of the pictures. They're supposed to be watching them and seeing what they're doing and reporting back to us. Shit, now they work together. They're in the same orgies. They're wiping the same goat blood all over each other, and they're, they're injecting the same stem cells from dead Chinese people. They're one and the same. So if one of them is pushing it, you know the other one. They're helping the other one. Like I said before, 
You don't have to watch it. I, I described it for you. But if you want to, the link will be in the description box. <laughs> that shit was foul. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Get your ass over to Green's House, my new YouTube channel, and hit the Teespring link to get some merch. I am Jericho Green. <laughs> Man, I'm out.